write a C++ program to design a class complex for adding two complex numbers. Also show the use of constructor. So in this program, we have to create a class complex and this class should be capable of adding two complex numbers and we have to use the constructor to initialize the data members of the class complex. So first we are creating a class. The name of the class is complex. In order to store the real and imaginary part of a complex number, we are using two data members of float type. The data members are named as X and Y. In the public section, we have written the constructor, the default constructor. The constructor has the same name as the class name, does not have any return data type and the default constructor does not take any parameters. So inside the default constructor, the value of X and Y is initialized as zero. Next, we have written a parameterized constructor. There are two parameters, both are of float type named as A and B. Inside the parameterized constructor, we assign the value of A to the data member X and assign the value of B to the data member Y. Next, we have written a member function, a method, which is named as display. The return data type of display method is void. It does not take any parameters. So here we have to display the value of X and Y in the form of complex number. Here we are using std no show pause. Show no pause indicates that it does not have to show the positive symbol plus sign when the value of x is plus, it will not show the plus sign. If it is negative, it will show. When we are displaying the value of y, we have written std show pause. That means it will show the positive sign. If the value of y is a positive number, still it will show the positive symbol. This is used to display a complex number in the form of a plus ib or x plus iy. The second parameter, the second uh, the imaginary part, if it is positive value, still it will show the sign. Show pose and no show pose are manipulators or format flags. Now we have written the add method for adding two complex number. It takes two parameter, both are object of complex C1 and C2. In order to calculate, we are adding the real part of C1 and C2 together and imaginary part of C1 and C2 together. In the main method, we are creating two complex objects with parameters and another one without any parameters. So the object is named as C1, C2 and C3. We are calling the method C3.add of C1, C2. So the content of C1 and C2 will get passed into the object will get passed into the member function add. And in the add, C3 will be the current object. In C3.add, the current object is C3. So the X and Y of C3 will become corresponding sum of real and imaginary part of C1 and C2.
by using the display method we display all the complex object c1 dot display c2 dot display and c3 dot display Execute and see the program output. 